Hello and welcome to what may be your first video that you're watching from the AP Statistics course at Lake Brantley. Okay, so the first thing we want to talk about is the five W's. When we collect data, when we collect data, okay, this means nothing unless we put context to it. Unless there's some meaning, context or what would be meaning. Okay, so to put context to it, we want to have this idea of the five W's. Okay, now not all data sets will you'll have the five W's, but you have to know two of them. Two of them are kind of more important than the other ones, and later on they uh, they're important too. Here, this how is important also. So let's go over the who. So we collect this data. So we collect data. Okay. Um, there's a whole bunch of. I, I could ask you guys how tall you are in the class. Okay. So everybody writes that. Matter of fact, the first day, that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be collecting data. Okay. So you guys are going to fill out a sheet, and I'm going to ask you five or six questions. Okay. So the who, kind of, is kind of self-explanatory. The who is whom we're interested in, whom the data is about, okay? Who are we interested in, okay? That's very important because <laughs> if you have data and you don't know who the data is about, you're in some kind of trouble. Okay, the second most important, and these are the two that you always should think about whenever you see data, is what? what so in this case um, what are we measuring what are we asking could be asking or measuring okay so when we get this um, in general these are our variables these are our variables okay because the who is who it's about and the what can change from from who, from the different people of who I'm interested in okay so I might be 70 inches tall you might be 68 inches tall where the next person might be 78 inches tall so the variables is the the, um, the heights that change from person to person okay so that's just one quick example and another thing you have to know about um, the what is um okay there's units attached in general in general means it in general technically means that it may not be true all the time but most of the time in general what we're measuring has units and hopefully you understand what I mean that we have units okay it could be um, if it's time it could be days seconds etc okay if it's uh, a unit of length it could be meters inches miles could be uh, could be in a metric system or the standard system okay um, could be temperature okay and so on and so forth okay so the what will always have units and you should always always write down those units and and know them okay so now we're getting into ones that are kind of important but they should just be they're not as important as the other ones okay so the why this is just why do we want this information or how will this information this data help us okay and next okay so the next video you know if you read the chapter this categorical variables um, it's going to be kind of associated with this what 
the categorical variables and the quantitative variables or quantitative that's going to be on what we're measuring okay that's how you're going to determine if something's a categorical or a quantitative okay so you'll hear about that in the in the next video so I have three of the five down and the next is where 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 was the info recorded okay so so let's say I ask I get some data on some seniors some seniors in Florida okay so that's important because the data on the seniors in, in Florida may be different than the um, than data on people from Tennessee okay from the seniors in Tennessee so so the where is important sometimes because um, the data may say different things okay and next is when this is important too because um, so this is just time what time frame okay when I say time frame was the data collected in the 1800s or the 2000s okay as you guys know there's been a lot of changes from the 1800s to the 2000s matter of fact there's a lot of difference from the 80s or the 2000s okay specifically how I'm going to run this class how you're watching this right now okay that wasn't a possibility back in 1980 you know I didn't I couldn't watch my lectures at home over and over and over again and get to come have fun in class every day I had to listen to it in class and have no fun okay so how and this is how was the data collected so we're going to learn a lot about this later in the in the year how was data collected this could be the difference between something meaningful or useless okay if you collect your data um, if you don't collect the data the correct way it falls under the useless okay it's just garbage bad data you, you can't get any information but if you correct it if you collect it correctly then your data will be meaningful okay and you'll learn about the ways we collect data later on in the year okay so that's it on the five W's every time you do a problem you should have you should have a good idea of the the who and the what okay the who and the what and you should have a pretty good idea of the other ones okay especially as the year goes by so let's talk about something that's pretty important that I'll just kinda do off to the side haven't figured that out yet okay so this is the second part how you should approach solving statistical problems anytime you get a problem you have to start doing this you have to think about what it's asking okay you think about this is kinda like kinda like your setup where you're you know you're thinking the next thing you have to do is show so this is when you show pictures um, show work show work and the last one which is probably one of the most well they're all important but this is the one when you have to tell so you have to explain what okay it, it may be what the data is saying show what the picture shows um, explain what that means when you find that probability okay so I'll just I'll just write explain and and you have to start you're gonna get to where you could write statistically 
okay and that's just a whole bunch of fun once you get to where you could write statistically you could write a report on something that you know you've researched you've thought about it set it up collected the data okay made some graphs and then you're going to interpret and explain what those graphs mean and kind of what the data is what the data is doing okay so throughout the whole year whenever we're doing problems you have to have this idea think think about it set it up show it okay show work show pictures and then make sure you tell give a nice explanation about what's happening okay so that's it thanks for watching and I'm looking forward to having a good year have a nice day.